Uh, the year was 2011, and I had this huge book on how to do HTML. So I was ready to make my first website from scratch. I went chapter by chapter, and I developed the code on the left, and it turned into the website on the right. It was like magic, or like computer programming. But I developed this website, and I also started developing an app for students that are transitioning to college, students with special needs. And I learned during this time that there's so many pages and clicks and forms and formulas that making an app is crazy hard work. But I talked to a friend at work, and she told me about a tool called AppShed that would do all the coding for you. And I learned that during this time, you can send your coding off to a programmer, and they'll take care of that. So during this time, I decided that I was just going to focus on the design, on the user experience, on the content. That was the important part. So I low-key kept working on my app, and I built my first website using Google Sites. And uh, just by the way, this looked good in 2012. So <laughs> I need to upgrade to the new Google Sites. But um, oh, let me go back. Um, so, but what baffled me during this time is that I kept hearing things like Virginia makes computer science classes mandatory, and Rhode Island governor wants to have programming for everyone. And it even became something that both Republicans and Democrats could agree on with President Obama's Computer Science for All initiative in 2016. And if it's not fake news, President Trump has ha had his own initiative the last couple months. <laughs> but we got people and governments and organizations spending millions of dollars to have more access to coding and more computer science classes. Some people say that every single student should know how to code. But what I contend is that we got to give students the skills to have complex ideas and communicate these ideas. And then from there, they can send out the coding or they can use something like Google Sites. Has anybody heard this saying the past couple years? We're preparing students for jobs that don't exist yet. It's kind of cliche, but that's something that I subscribe to. And that's why I think having mandatory computer science classes and saying that every student should know how to code is too specific a skill. We got to give students the tools to be able to do anything in any setting. Like the Partnership for 21st Century Learning talks about, we need to be teaching kids how to be creative, how to be critical thinkers, communicate, collaborate. We need to give them the information and media technology skills. Like my sister, who's a library media specialist, she posted this tweet a while back. Student is thrilled to learn about how to cite a video game. It's about taking students' interest and showing them how they can persuade and inform. Oh, let me go back. <laughs> Um, so I had my time doing CSS and Xcode and HTML, but the more websites and blogs and apps that I developed, the more I realized that coding and getting under the hood of the car or the computer, that's not for every single student. We got to teach kids the, the skill to make it in the post-secondary world. And saying that every student should learn computer science is like 100 years ago saying that every student should know how the internal combustion engine works because cars are the wave of the future and Henry Ford was paying a living wage. And uh, saying that every student should learn how to code is like during the baby boom, saying that every student should learn how to frame a house. Maybe you want to give them the exposure to frame a house, but we got to teach them how to be the architect. We got to teach students the skills to collaborate synchronously and asynchronously in inclusive environments in order to reach a goal. We got to give students the graphic design skills to do, use composition and negative space and color combinations in order to get their message across. We got to teach students how to design an engaging user experience. And if they learn a programming language as a byproduct, or if they take a coding elective and they keep going that route, that's what's up. But those skills are like the calculus route. Not every student needs to take calculus, and just like that, not every student needs to know how a computer works or how to code. Man, I'm used to teaching, and you got your friend. I keep going ahead. But um, so I didn't hop on the internet for the first time until I was 14 years old, and I heard that the fast rapping Bone Thugs and Harmony had their lyrics on this new thing called the World Wide Web. By the time I graduated high school, my school's big ed tech initiative was that every student have an email address. But these days, students got their own YouTube channels. They're, got, they're curating their personal brand with thousands of followers. They're starting petitions, starting websites, blogs, businesses. People even pay to watch them play video games. They are killing it on the internet. They don't need to learn how to code or learn how an operating system works. They need to learn how to be their own public relations firm. But as teachers, we can't teach them that. But we can teach them how to be critical thinkers, how to evaluate a media source, how to work with diverse groups, 
how to have ideas worth spreading and the skills to spread those ideas. That's what I think every student needs to learn how to do. Thank you. <laughs>